Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how we can configure the pick function using the field index and get field selections function to achieve a dynamic behavior in our dashboard. So the dynamic behavior is this that if I am doing any selection here on the year field then my relative text box or any other chart component should be updated automatically. So let's go ahead and first understand these three functions and then we will see how we can configure it in a text object like this. And uh, before that, I will just show you uh, the already configured this text object uh, which is taking input from the ear tag list object. So whenever I'm selecting 1949, then some operation is all happening over here and it is presenting this calculation. If I'm selecting 1950, then another calculation is resulting into three. Similar is 1951 and 1952. So what you can think is, it is like a multiple if condition which is executing, which is saying that if I'm selecting 1941, then show two. If it is uh, 1950, then three. Else if, if it is 1951, then four and so on and so forth. So similar is the case with the pick function, which helps us achieving the nested if condition. So the pick function takes First, uh, n. n is nothing but uh, the number. It may be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Based on the number you are giving over here, it will going to evaluate that condition. So if it is 1, it will evaluate the condition 1. If n is equals to 2, then it will evaluate the condition 2. So the important point is that you supply this dynamic number here at the place of n within the n function. So to supply this, we will combine the field index and get field selection so that you have this dynamic behavior. So what field index does, it takes a field name. So here in this case of year, it will take the year name and its value. So if I'm supplying suppose field name year and value is 1949, then the outcome will be one. So to supply the value, either you can supply a static value or a dynamic value. But And in this case, we have to supply a dynamic value. And to do that, we will use the get field selections. So whenever we are selecting any value from this field, we will supply it over here. And the outcome of the field index function, we will supply it to n. That will help us achieving at which selection I am doing and then accordingly the expression will be evaluated. So to show you, I will just right click over here, go to properties and here let's first uh, ev evaluate each and every function. So first one is get field selection and the parameter which I am giving is year field. So it is basically picking up this 1952 which I am selecting in the field and then the field index function where I am supplying the year field within the quotes that's an important thing to understand that whenever you are using field index the field the first parameter which is a field name mentioned over here should be within a quotes and then the value in place of value you have the get field selection year which is getting a value from this list box once this entire thing is getting evaluated, which is nothing but the value of n which we are getting, and then accordingly these expression 1 plus 1, 1 plus 2, 1 plus 3, 1 plus 4. So this is just a dummy uh, expression which I have written over here for the sake of simplicity and to explanation. And then based on uh, whether I am selecting the first value, then the index or the n is 1. And then it is evaluating 1 plus 1, which is nothing but 2. When I am selecting 1950, then n becomes 2 and set second expression getting evaluated, which is 1 plus 2. And outcome is 3, which we are seeing in the text object. So let's click OK. And uh, let me just again select 1949, which is 1 plus 1, then 2. 1950, which is 1 plus 2 is equals to 3. The outcome is 3. So this is what I would uh, wanted to show you and uh, just to recap again, if I go to properties, just to explain it again, 
the get field selection and field index both combined providing the value of n in this case which can be 1 2 3 and 4 and 5 and then pick function based on the value of n it is evaluating the expression which is mentioned over here which is ultimately resulting in a nested if kind of condition that when n is equal to 1 then evaluate expression 1 when n is equal to 2 then evaluate the expression is equal to 2. So I hope you have found this video useful and I will meet you in the new video with a new topic.